He had to sell you on who he is, what he is, what you knew what to expect when you were going to hear Kanye and you related and you connected to it. Then when he goes and tries to experiment with something else, you went from being all over the place to a genius now. You are a man of many talents. You've pursued different career paths throughout your life. What do you say to someone who may have a multitude of talents or enjoys multiple things? You may enjoy rapping and be good at it, but you also may love interior designing yeah. and be good at that too. Do you think that it's important to pursue all of them at the same time, or do you think hey, focus on one thing, let that get you to this level before you try to pursue other talents, gifts, or things that make you happy. So when I was young, I wanted to do everything. And it's funny because people would always, when I'm young, people say, what do you want to be when you get older? And I used to think, why do I only have to choose, get to choose one thing? Uh -huh. right? And I never understood why. It was always, what do you want to be? I don't want to just be one thing, right? So it's, it's a gift and a curse because my innate ability to do a lot of things well was born out of my having to do things for myself to survive, to, to grow, to evolve, to build. So I had to learn how to be a good marketer because I have to market myself. I had to be a good speaker with customer service because I had to talk to people on why they should fuck with me. I had to become a good producer. I had to become a good artist. I had to become a good performer. I had to be all of these things so I couldn't just do one because I had no one around to help me do the other things. So I didn't even know that there are other departments or other people that could help. I just assumed I had to do it all. So because of that, young, I learned how to do a lot of things. Like I can listen and write and think, I got a promotions company, I'm, I'm doing this, da, da, da. And it's like when they walk in a room and they try to impress you by telling you all the things they're doing, anybody that's successful isn't gonna say, wow, you do a bunch of shit. They're gonna say, Yo, you're all over the place, I don't even know what you do or what I'm supposed to like, like about you. You're just a clusterfuck of what the fuck, right? So I'm lost. So I would advise anybody that has a bunch of ideas or wants to do a bunch of things is to pick the one that you think you're strongest at and the one that when that works, it can uplift the other stuff. Focus on that one because you're gonna open up more doors and more opportunities and what you don't understand is as you're becoming successful at that one thing and building a stellar reputation for that one thing, people are gonna become connected to you, they're gonna have a network, relationships that, look at Kanye West couldn't have put out 808 and Heartbreaks his second album. We would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm telling you. We want more of that. Ah, fuck. We thought he was going to give us more of that. We're out. Yeah. Right? He had to sell you on who he is, what he is. What you knew what to expect when you were going to hear Kanye and you related and you connected to it. Then when he goes and tries to experiment with something else, you went from being all over the place to a fucking genius now. Because now people say, oh shit, you can do that too? Yeah. But when you're trying to stuff too much that too at one time, I don't even know what I'm supposed to catch. There's too much shit you're throwing. It's like being in a money machine where all the money, <laughs> you, you, now you're catching none of it because there's too much being thrown at you. But if you threw one water cash at me, psh, word, I got a stack. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with, with, with what you're doing with your life. Like do this one thing great. It also shows that you're disciplined, you're committed, and you know how to build something. Right? So then when you do something else, people, I mean, I've got this all the time. I, I'll go into meetings and I, this, by the way, I had to train myself to do this because I was that guy when I was young. I'd go into record labels and be like, and I do, and I do, and I, and I can do this, and I can do. When I went into, when I got signed to Interscope Records as an artist, they gave me a, an artist deal, a production deal, and a marketing deal, and four deals they offered me. Because they were like, yo, he's an artist we can sign, he can produce for our other artists, he can help build up marketing campaigns for other artists. Like they didn't even let me leave until they, they, I, I was willing to sign a deal. Jeez. But, and so then I'm like, see, it works. They see all the magic of me, right? But that doesn't work everywhere. And like, I, I promise, there's somebody watching right now saying, fuck that dude, I'm gonna do all the shit that I wanna do, right? I'm gonna do it all, I know how to do it. And watch, come back to me 
in five or 10 years and tell me how that worked out. Because I guarantee 99% of you do not have the capacity or the ability to be able to do five things really well and grow them all at the same time and make everybody believe in all five things. It's just not possible. You have to do one thing super dope. And then when everyone's like, he's fucking dope as shit as that, then you can say, oh, by the way, I do this thing too. Or just fucking do it. Don't even tell them you do it. Do something else dope, make them discover it on their own and make them say, what the fuck, man? I was online and I seen that you did. And he's like, yeah, it's just another thing I do. I'm like, fuck, man, your shit is crazy. <laughs> That's the way to penetrate.